Okay, good morning to everybody. Today we'll start uh, another part of computer. That means a uh, history of computer and advantage of computer or application of computers in our uh, engineering field or different field. So first of all, uh, in our previous lecture, we have started first the definition of a uh, computer. A computer is an electronic device that can perform activities that involve mathematical, logical, and graphical manipulation. Manipul uh, manipulation, generally the term is used to describe a collection of devices that function together as a system, okay? That means this machine can perform uh, three types. One is mathematical, logical, and graphical manipulation. So it performs the following three operations in sequence, these three operations. It receives data and instructions from the input device. First of all, we have to input the data. Then this uh, number two processes the data as per instruction. When we give instruction, then it will process the data. Then in third step, provides the result. That means uh, the, uh, they will give output in our desired form. So what is the data actually? It is the collection of raw facts, figures, symbols, etc. For example, names of students and their marks in different subjects listed in random order. So this is the actually data and information what? It is the data that is processed and presented in an organized manner. For example, when the name of students are arranged in alphabetic order, total and average marks are calculated and presented in a tabular form, it is the information. That means it will be give the output. Now, what is the program? Suppose anybody can ask you what is program? This is the set of instruction that enables a computer to perform a given task, okay? Set of instructions that enables a computer to perform a given task. Okay, now, uh, what's the advantage of? Uh, we studied the advantage of computers a high speed, accuracy, storage, automation, diligence, versatility, and cost effectiveness. Okay? First of all, high speed. Uh, we have to use this machine uh, because the computers have the ability to perform routine tasks at a greater speed than human beings. They can perform millions of calculations in a second. Okay? In our previous lectures, we have started about this. Accuracy, computers are used to perform tasks in a way that ensures accuracy. Storage. Computers can store large amount of information. Any item of data or any instructions stored in the computer can be retrieved by the computer at lighting speed. Now another one, you can store any information uh, in our computer. So it has a big am uh, amount of uh, information in, in its storage. Now what is autom automation is one of the good advantages. Computers can be instructed to perform complex tasks automatically. That means every task, uh, when you give an instruction to computer, uh, it Sir, will be performed complete task automatically. Sir. Uh, Sir, Now, diligence, computers can perform the uh, another uh, important properties or advantage, uh, diligence. Computers can perform the same task repeatedly and with the same accuracy without getting tired. That means computer uh, not need to be tired. Another important property is versatility. Computers are flexible to perform both simple and complex tasks. That means every types of both simple and complex tasks can be performed easily with the computer. Now cost effectiveness, it is another advantage for us. Computer reduce the amount of paper work, human effort, thereby reducing cost. That means no need to uh, take paper, uh, no need to uh, take uh, more time. This is why cost e effectiveness. Uh, being with the advantage of these uh, seven types of uh, advantage of computer, there are some limitations. Uh, limitations. What are the limitations of computers? Computers need clear and complete instruction to perform a task accurately. If the instructions are not clear and complete, the computer will not produce required result that means it's the one of the limitation if you give any 
uh, any uh, mis uh, mis instruction or not clear instruction, then it will give the wrong result. Okay. So another uh, another limitation is computer cannot think. This is the main limitation computer cannot think if you think good then computer can think good if you give the instruction to computer then it will be processed otherwise not so this is why computer cannot think now computers cannot learn by experience suppose we have experience then we can uh, operate computer easily but computers uh, cannot uh, learn uh, by experience remember it these three limitations of computer you have to remember this now uh, we have started about this generation. There are five fifth generation, okay, components used. In first generation, backup used. In second generation, 1955 to 1965, transistors. Okay, we have used transistors. In third generation, 1968 to 1975, integrated circuit. Remember it. When integrated circuit used in third generation. Now in fourth generation, 1976 to 1980, very large scale integrated circuit. That means the integrated circuit is very large. Then BLSI, it is called BLSI. Now, in fifth generation, what we have used in 1982 till today, ultra scale integrated circuit. That means ULSI, microprocessor chip, microprocessor chip or silicon chip. So this is the actually uh, the in a brief the short uh, the generations of computers. Okay, now uh, what are the applications of computer? Uh, today computers find widespread wide applications. That means in every higher we are using uh, these computers in every uh, in every higher of our daily necessities. So in all activities of the modern world, uh, we are using this computer. So some of the major applications are include, first of all, scientific engineering and research. Okay, scientific, engineering, and research. Uh, this is the major area where computers find vast applications. That means huge applications, many, many applications. They are used in areas which requires a lot of experiments, mathematical calculations, uh, weather, in, uh, for, uh, weather forecasting, okay? And complex mathematical and engineering applications. So computer-aided design, CAD. This is yeah. called computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing. That means CIM. Help in designing robotics, automobile manufacturing, automatic process control devices, etc. That means in engineering, uh, scientific engineering and research, we are using these three types of application. One is CAD, uh, that means computer aided design, and uh, another is CIM, yeah. computer aided manufacturing. Uh, these are using in higher. In robotics, you must know uh, what are the robotics. That means uh, we have to use a robot in different uh, field of our research. Automatic manufacturing, automatic process control devices, etc. Oh, automobile mm. manufacturing. Yes. Uh, now, uh, business or, or in uh, economics, uh, in this in the business, record keeping, budget, reports, inventory, payroll. Uh, in invoicing accounts are all the areas of business and industry where computers are used to get to a great extent. Okay? We have to use it in a greater way. The database management is one of the major areas where computers are used on a large scale. Okay. Database management. It is very a uh, major area uh, where computers are used in a large scale. The areas of application here include banking. You must know in banking, uh, it has a huge application airlines reservation that means in airlines uh, to uh, to sell the kit, uh, ticket of airlines etc where large amounts of data need to be updated edited sorted searched okay. from the large database so in business and in economics uh, that means every higher we are using uh, this device that means mm. computer mm -hmm. now in medicine uh, that means in uh, uh, in medical or medicine. So computerized systems are now in widespread use in monitoring patient data like pulse rate, blood pressure, uh, 
uh, the, uh, to uh, to measure the sugar in blood, etc., resulting in faster and accurate diagnosis. Modern day medical equipment are highly computerized today, so computers are also widely used in medical research. Uh, that means in okay. medical research, we are widely using this. Now, what are the uh, uses in information? That means this is the large. Uh, this is the age of information in our age today modern is the uh, modern uh, uh, day is the age of information so television satellite communication internet networking are all based on computers, computers. without computers we cannot use these types of uh, communication so in education you must know in our previous lecture i have uh, i have told told you about the what are the uses of computers in education so the use of computers in education is increasing day by day. The students develop the habit of thinking more logically and are able to formulate problem solving techniques. CDs, CD means what? Compact disc. Compact disc. On a variety of subjects are available to, <clears throat> impart, to impart education. On online training programs, our students are also becoming popular day by day. All the major encyclopedias um, dictionaries and books are now available in the digital form and therefore are easily accessible to the students of the day. So creatively in drawing, painting, designing, decoration, music, etc. Et and even uh, in making movie, in making movie, we also um, using this computer device, uh, can be well developed with this computer. So in education, that means to make your mark sheet. Suppose Thanks. you uh, your history of uh, education in intermediate or your, uh, to preserve the history of your education in SSC level uh, to prepare the mark sheet of each student of our country. We, we, have to, we must need to take help from computer. So without computers, uh, it cannot be massive. Uh, it will be handwritten. Then in our uh, previous days, uh, that means in before 20 years, 30 years, uh, they use handmade, okay, handmade marshit. Now in another last uh, installation of computer games and entertainment. entertainment. Yeah. That means computer games are also popular for children and adults alike. Computers are nowadays also need to entertain areas like movies, sports, advertising. Suppose uh, in USA, uh, some sports are organizing their Olympic games. So, uh, but uh, uh, although in USA night, but we are in day, day time, okay? So, but we are uh, in the whole world enjoying the same game, okay? With the help of computer, with the help of internet and device. So uh, to, uh, to make a movie, that means Hollywood movie or Bollywood movie, a huge budget movie, we have yes. to use computer. Without uh, animation, uh, without the uses of computer, we cannot uh, think like that types of movie and it's a sports advertising also to make a, a attractive advertisement we have to use computer so this is the actually uh, application of computer now uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of computer you must know advantages speed accuracy yeah, efficiency this is the advantage storage capability versatility yeah, and limitations so i have also studied about this Okay. That means advantage and limitations. Okay, as the history of computer, uh, until the development of the first generation computers based on Bacom tubes, there had been several developments in the computing technology related to that mechanical computing devices. The key developments that took place till the first computer was developed are as follows. This is the first computer, Abacus. Okay. This is the first computer. It uh, looked like a box, a huge box. Abacus was the first mechanical calculating device for counting of large numbers. The word Abacus means calculating board, calculating board. It consists of bars in horizontal position, bar. This is the bar. In horizontal positions, so which sir. sets of beads in are inserted. The horizontal bars have 10 beads each. 10 beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten beads each, representing units one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That means ten beads. This is the ten beads, representing units tens, hundreds, etc. In abacus is shown in figure. This is the uh, figure of uh, abacus. Now, second, second uh, computer was Napier's bones was a mechanical device built for the purpose of multiplication in 1617 uh, by an English mathematician, John Napier. Uh, actually, John Napier uh, invented this Napier's bone. Now, another one, slide rule. Slide rule. Uh, this equipment was developed by an English mathematician, Edmund Gunter in the 16th century. 16th century. Using the slide rule, one could perform operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. It was used extensively till late 1970s. Shows a slide rule. You must uh, watch uh, the movie, uh, Three Years movie. Uh, in Three Years movie, uh, uh, actor, American, uh, used the scale. You must know about the scale. Actually, this is the slide rule. Okay, uh, it yeah. was used extend extensively till 1970s. That means 1970. Uh, in 1970, before 1970, it was extensively used. This is the slide. Okay, slide rule. This is the figure of slide rule. Now another one is Pascal adding and subtraction machine. Pascal's adding and subtraction machine was developed by Blaise Pascal. It could add and subtract. The machine consists of wheels, gears, cylinders, etc. Another one is Leibniz multiplication and dividing machine. Leibniz multiplication and dividing machine. This was a mechanical device that could both multiply and divide. The German philosopher and mathematician notified Leibniz, this is the mathematician, built it around 1673. Adding. Now, punch card system. Punch card system. This was a, actually a card, punch card. Uh, some put uh, are written there. Then, it, if it's punched, then it can perform any calculation. Uh, this punch card system was developed by uh, Jacquard uh, to control the power loop in 1801. He invented the punch card reader that could recognize the presence of hole in the punch card as binary one in the absence of the whole as binary zero. That means zero means what? Yes or no? No, one is yes. So zero one, computer, all computer are, uh, are working with zero one. You must know. At the basis of the modern digital computers, this zero one are the basis of modern digital computer. A punch card is shown in here, punch card. Now Babbage analytical engine, this is also a, uh, the one types of computer. An Englishman, Charles Babbage, built a mechanical machine to a complex to do complex mathematical calculations in the year 1823. The machine was called difference engine. Later, Charles Babbage and Lady Ida okay. uh, Lovelace uh, developed a general purpose calculating machine. The analytical engine, Charles Babbage, is also called the father of computer. You must know uh, who is the father of computer. Absolutely. Charles Babbage. Uh, he is a great mathematician, British mathematician, and also another uh, another famous lady, Lady Ada Lovelace. Ada Lovelace. Uh, both developed this well, machine. Yes. Um, Hollerich's uh, past car, uh, punch card uh, tabulating machine. This was invented by Herman Hollerich. Uh, the machine could read the information from punch <laughs> card <laughs> electronically. <laughs> So these are the main history. Uh, the developments discussed above and several others not discussed here results in the development of the first computer in the 1940s. Actually, uh, before the 1940s, this was the history of computer. Of so uh, first generation from 1940 to 1956 using the tube. That means this, uh, this is the Bacom tube, figure of Bacom tube. Uh, just this is the music for the first uh, generation. Uh, and uh, this uh, using this uh, Bacom tube, 
uh, the, the technology of a first generation computer was developed. Now the second generation using transistor. This is actually a transistor figure of uh, transistors. Uh, using these uh, transistors, the second generation started from 1956 to 1963. So this is the uh, magnetic core technology. Okay, transistor. Now, third generation was used what? Integrated circuit. Integrated service. In third generation. Uh, actually, before in before in our previous lecture, we have started about this. So just we are uh, watching this uh, only, uh, only integrated only figure. So third generation started 1964 to 1971. Just using integrated circuit. Uh, this is the uh, IC chips or integrated circuit chips. Using this, uh, the third generation was developed. Now fourth generation using microprocessor. This is the very wondering, uh, wondering uh, parts of computer, which was more developed and more speedy computer was uh, uh, developed. So the fourth generation started from 1971 to what? Is it present? Yeah, present. No, present. Yes, actually present. present we are using microprocessor. This is why we can uh, say it to present. So microprocessor is the main uh, main uh, main development for the uh, fourth generation. This is the, uh, this is the microprocessor. Uh, inside the computer, you can uh, see this. Now in fifth generation, present to next, that means artificial intelligence. We are using uh, the concept of artificial intelligence for the fifth generation computer. Now, uh, classification of computer, we also discussed about this uh, classification. One is uh, uh, based on size and type. We can classify the computer, a uh, micro computer, mini computer, mainframe computers, and supercomputers. Okay. So first, uh, uh, slow and cheap and simple, small. First is micro computer, then mini computer, then mainframe computer, then what? Super, Super computer. computers. So uh, this classification of uh, computers based on size and type. So what is microcomputer? Uh, microcomputers are a small, low cost and single user uh, digital computer and the consist of CPU, input, output device, storage unit and the software. So example is actually IBM PC based Pentium microprocessor and Apple. Uh, this is the uh, actually uh, figure for microcomputer, PC, laptop, notebook, tablet, PDA, smartphone, smartphone. etc. Mm -hmm. And desktop computer or personal computer, you must know, uh, is the most common type of microcomputer. Uh, micro and notebook also, laptop. Uh, this is the actually technology. What is mini computer? Mini computers are digital computers generally used in multi user system. They have high processing speed and high storage capacity than the microcomputers. Mini computers can support four to 200 users simultaneously. That means in big, in big industry, uh, we can use this to communicate to one country to another country. The users can access the microcomputer there through their PC or terminal. That means this is the uh, figure of my mini computer. Okay. Now, what are the mic? Mainframe computer. Mainframe computers are multi-user, multi-programming, and high-performance computer. Uh, and this is the uh, example of mainframe computer. Now, what are the supercomputers? You must know this is very speedy and high-speed computer. Uh, very fast computer. Supercomputers are the fastest and most expensive machines. They have high processing speed uh, compared to other computers. The speed of computer is generally measured in FL OPS. That means floating point operation per second. Some of the faster supercomputers can perform trillions of calculations per second. This is why we are using uh, NASA uh, using this computer to travel Mars, Moon, etc. Uh, okay. So the supercomputer uh, example of supercomputer is this. This is the supercomputer. Uh, okay. Sir, 
are IBM. IBM. Uh, some example of supercomputers are IBM, uh, Roadrunner, Road IBM Road Blue Road Generation, Road and Intel, Intel SCI Red. SCI Red. Uh, there is a series of uh, supercomputers SCI Red. SCI Red. in India by CESC. Then a center for development of advanced computing. computing. In Bangladesh, we have also supercomputer. Uh, and we have to use this uh, uh, for different research. Okay. Okay. Yes, thank. Uh, thank you. Mm, thanks to everybody.